Okay, let's go back over the numbers. There's 36,500,000 smokers in the United States based on current census. Each smoker, we approximate that they smoke 15 cigarettes every day. Some smoke more, some smoke less. That's our estimate. Um, that means, take, using those two numbers, okay, that 547,500,000 cigarettes are smoked every day in just the United States. Um, we also estimate that only 10% of those make it into the trash can, leaving 90% of the cigarettes smoked in the United States thrown on the ground. That means, okay, that 492,000,750,000 cigarettes are littered every day, okay? We were using the approximation that each cigarette butt would take up about 1.758 cubic centimeters, okay? So that means that 1.75 cubic centimeters are littered 492,750,000 times every day in our country, okay? Meaning that the, the cigarettes littered in the United States every day could fill a space with a volume of 866,254,500 cubic centimeters. Or in meters, that would be 866.2545 cubic meters, okay? The math we need to use to figure out how many days it would take to squeeze cigarette butts inside the Boeing building. Uh, this building has a volume of 398 cubic, or 398,000 cubic meters. Okay, so we just figure out, here's our daily volume of cigarette butts thrown on the ground. We're going to see how many times it, we can fit that inside that building, and that would be the number of days it would take, right? Each day would fit a different space inside this building, and however many times we need that volume to fill up this ginormous space, okay? So the math is our giant space divided by the smaller space to see how many times our smaller space fits inside. Okay, and here's the math. We end up with 459.4, which that's the number of days it would take the United States to litter enough cigarette butts to fill up this area, okay? The same math for each building. If I know how many cigarette butts fits inside of the resort, I'm gonna take the volume of the resort, 5.5 million, okay? And divide that to see how many times our smaller volume will fit inside of there. And we're going to end up with 6,349.2 days, right? Seems like a big number, but that's pretty gross. That's a huge building, okay? If you want to break it down a little bit more, that's about 17 and a half years, 122 weeks, and 529 months, okay? Our NASA building, okay, same math. I just broke it down a little faster. If we divide our larger volume by our smaller volume to see how many times it takes to create that larger number, you're going to get 4,230 days, okay, give or take, and that would fill up our NASA building. Totally gross.